Well, for today, no record high like we had yesterday, but we still were 41 degrees, a morning low of 37, averages are 22 and 2, and was a record high of 46 degrees set back in 2002. We do have a little area of low pressure right over Lake Superior and also a cold front associated with this system. And of course, behind a cold front, you would expect some colder air. And that's the case tonight over parts of the Dakotas and even Canada. It's zero right now in Winnipeg, even 16 in St. Cloud. But ahead of that cold front, it's warm. It's right now 41 degrees in Toledo and even 45 degrees in Topeka, Kansas. Meteorologist Mike Mirga, and we haven't had a lot of snow here lately. Yeah, not a lot of snow. And actually, it looks like uh, pretty quiet conditions for the early part of the week. But a big change is on the way for Thursday and Friday. Follow all the weather details right after this break. The National Guardsmen started their training last night. They returned to the armory around 6 o'clock this morning, where they then proceeded to work on various missions throughout the day. Right now, it's a very mild 30 degrees at the Marquette Community Federal Credit Union. Humidity of 83%, a very light north-northwest wind at 5 miles per hour. Barometric pressure at 30.13 inches of mercury. And across Upper Michigan, very mild conditions for this time of year and this time of day. 34 in Munising, 28 degrees for Newberry, Manistique. Also for Iron Mountain, Florence, Iron River, 27 degrees for Houghton Hancock. Also for Ironwood, it's 30 in Copper Harbor, 29 in Launce, 32 on Tanagan, and 30 degrees for Escanaba and also for Menominee. Very mild conditions across the Great Lakes as well. It's 22 degrees in Lansing, a few Few degrees warmer in Detroit at 29, even 26 in the Sioux and Thunder Bay, usually one of the cold spots, is coming in right now at 23 degrees. Well, we do still have snow cover across our region, but our high today, 27 after a morning low of 21. Look, our low for today is our average high for today, which is 21 degrees. Uh, average low is 4 degrees, and it was even 26 degrees below zero. Set back in 1965. Well, no precipitation across Upper Michigan today. Well, why is that? A very strong ridge of high pressure is just centered to the north of us. A cold front went through, and not a lot of winds as well. You notice these are isobars, these white lines, lines of equal pressure. The further apart they are, the less wind you have. So we are, we are expecting some very light winds for the next 24 to 36 hours. And as this area of high pressure slides off to the east, we are going to have winds from the south, then finally winds from the southwest tomorrow. You know what that means. A southwest flow brings very warm conditions for Upper Michigan. But we do have clouds across the area. Taking a look at the Upper Midwest, you do notice a lot of clouds for Wisconsin, even the UP. If you look down well to the southeast of us, this little swirl in the atmosphere, a large area of low pressure is actually bringing a lot of uh, snow to parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania. But up here in our neck of the woods, just a lot of cloud cover for tonight and very, very light winds. You notice here, predictor six by tomorrow morning, light and variable winds. That's also the case for tomorrow by noon and even tomorrow evening. Generally light winds from the south. So we have clouds, we have moisture in the atmosphere and very light winds. Well, we could have some fog too by tomorrow morning. Some areas of light fog, especially in Marquette County, even Iron and Dickinson counties, and even by 9 a.m. tomorrow, there could be some heavier fog for western Marquette County and eastern Barriga County. Follow your forecast details in just a moment. Welcome back. Taking a look at the local radar, there is the slight possibility of a few flurries tonight, even some light freezing drizzle especially near Lake Superior. It will be very light, but many locations will be rather dry this evening. The weather clock for tomorrow, I have to leave in a chance by tomorrow morning, just a slight chance of a few flurries, maybe some freezing drizzle by noon. Temperatures in the 20s, mostly cloudy, light and variable winds. And by 6 p.m., mainly overcast skies tomorrow night. Our temperatures in the 20s, and again, some light and variable winds. The forecast for tonight, a mild night across Upper Michigan. Our lows generally from the mid-teens to near 20 degrees near Lake Superior. Some light north winds with the possibility of a few flurries and a few patches of freezing drizzle, especially north and west. And for tomorrow morning, it looks like much of the same, some freezing drizzle, but otherwise just a cloudy day across upper Michigan. Our highs tomorrow from the upper 20s to the lower 30s, some light and variable winds and some light northwest northeast winds for portions of the southern UP. And here's a look at your TV six day forecast. This is a Quite a treat if you uh, are tired of the uh, cold weather we have been experiencing the last few days. Actually, a week now of above average temperatures. Looks like, looks like by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we could have highs above freezing, the possibility of some snow melting this week. But just be careful with those warmer conditions and moisture in the atmosphere, always the possibility of fog.
All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. What do people do during our town, Gwen, during the winter season? I'm Mike Mirga. I'll have the details coming up. Six is Mike Mirga joins us live with News Tracker 6 from the Up North Lodge on Big Shag Lake. Mike? Hi, Steve and Jackie. I'm here at the Up North Lodge on Big Shag Lake, and it's a very busy place here just west of Gwen. I had a chance today to actually, uh, actually this past week, to talk to some people in the community. This lodge offers 11 guest rooms, even a cottage for their guests, along with a full-service restaurant and even a place for the snowmobilers to fuel up, actually, after a long days of riding and after talking to some people this week. They say they enjoy the very pleasant conditions, and also local business leaders as well are very pleased with, with the turnout this winter. Snowmobilers say they enjoy the Gwen area during the winter months. A popular destination for many outdoor enthusiasts is the Up North Lodge. Greg Bittner and his friends rode up from Escanaba. I just like to ride snowmobiles, come up from Escanaba, head north. The trails are a lot better here. And snowmobiling's fun. Everybody should do it. Plenty of snowfall this season is making Sally Serrell, owner of the Up North Lodge, very happy. We, we have to say that this is the best conditions that we've had in over four years here. And the trail system is phenomenal. The groomers have been taking really good care of us. And uh, snowmobilers are coming up and they're happy. Looking at the trailers in the parking lot shows people are driving great distances to snowmobile in central Marquette County. We've had a real good year going so far this year. A lot of people from downstate Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, a lot of people from Illinois and uh, nothing but compliments on the trails this year. Snowmobiling isn't the only activity. Ice fishing on the numerous lakes. The ice this past week has been about two feet thick. Well, I don't get out as near as, I, as much as I'd like to, but um, especially when there's a day like today, you hate to let it pass by without going out here, at least for a couple hours. Jerry Mackey and Dan Nathan work at the DNR field office in Gwen. They groom the cross-country ski trails at Anderson Lake. We have uh, about 10 miles worth of trails here. We've got three different loops, uh, beginner's loop, basically, and intermediate, and uh, advanced group. It's not a real, real advanced uh, ski, skiing uh, situation, but it does, uh, the people like it, and it's a little quieter than like at Blueberry Ridge or something like that, where a lot more people. And the officials at the DNR do tell me they try to groom that trail on Mondays and Fridays and their busiest days, at least for the skiers, are on the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. And also blazing a new trail in our town, Gwen, this winter season will be the Midnight Run. This will be the first year it'll start in Gwen. The Midnight Run is a shorter version of the UP 200 on Friday, February 18th. The, up to 50 teams will race from Gwen to Munising. Firefighters from Sands Township, Gwen and Skin, you'll act as handlers for the dogs. The race starts at 6 o'clock. It's selected by the committee of the 200 Midnight Run. They uh, came down and asked the Gwynn people if they were interested in doing a race here in Gwynn. And uh, we got some volunteers together and, and decided that this would be a great thing to start the race in Gwynn. 30 is also kicking off in Gwen. Already the race has hit its limit of 25 sled dog teams. And there's so much to do in our town, Gwen Sawyer. And this week, we've only covered just a few of the possibilities in this quite special place. And this truly is someplace special. Reporting live from the Up North Lodge on Big Shag Lake, I'm Mike Mirga, Steve and Jackie, back to you.